Hey, Charlotte, how you doing? Hi, Travis. I'm doing well, sir. And yourself? Not too bad at all. Uh, so uh, you guys are going to be coming into town this weekend. Uh, this is the first time you've been back in Evansville since uh, well, you were actually on the NXT roster then. And a lot has happened since then. I mean, you had a dream match at WrestleMania. What was it like going into WrestleMania? Oh, man. Um, it's really hard. Like, even when I'm sitting in Gorilla waiting to go out for my segment on Raw and we, I see the commercials or the clips of Mania and I see myself, Becky Lynch, and Sasha, it still doesn't feel real because, it's, you know, you work every single day in an XP and then it finally happens. You get on the main roster. But then it's a world where because the travel is so much harder, more demanding, more shows. It's crazy. To, yeah, 101,000 people. I don't even have, like, a really good response to this just shows feel real no and i couldn't imagine just stepping out there i would probably be nervous as soon as i walked out and ran back inside i don't know how you could do it but you, you stole the show with the match now my question about the match to you is when you jumped up on the turnbuckle and you were getting ready to jump outside do that moonsault outside did you have any thought like this might end bad like because that was pretty oh, high up no. <laughs> I mean, well, the match itself, I wasn't nervous about because, one, me, Becky, and Sasha had literally almost a year to that date had been running triple threat in Lakeland, Florida in front of like maybe like 22 people. So to know that I was going out there with two people that, I mean, I basically grew with in the business from everything from wrestling to understanding it, uh, that I wasn't nervous about. It was more, you know, there was so much pressure that it was going to steal the show. So it was like, you know, just, is this going to be what everyone expects it to be? But in terms of the moonsault, I wasn't really nervous about it just because um, I was a gymnast for most of my life. Right. So it's just finding like the right time to do moves like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I'm a lot bigger than the girls, so being acrobatic really doesn't fit my character as much as just being, like, kick-ass. Right. So, no, I, I mean, I was more just excited to be like, hey, I'm doing this out of mania versus, <laughs> like, the move itself. Well, okay, so d d do you always think, like, growing up very close to this business, did you always think you were going to somehow be a part of the business, or did you have other Absolutely dreams instead? Absolutely not. I had no dreams or... No, just because when you grow up with your dad your dad being one of the best not like oh you really want to you know follow in his footsteps because you see kids you know that try to live in their parents shadow and I saw how much you know my, my two brothers struggled so I never really pictured myself there and also when I was growing up and the women that I saw you know I wasn't modeling you know I was with Corey Wilson Stacey Keebler Trish Stratus right. I was like oh I play volleyball kind of the girl next door but not until I was at the Four Horsemen Hall of Fame induction in 2012. John Laurinaitis said, um, why aren't you doing this, kid? We were at dinner because my brother was trying to get into the developmental program. And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, I'm not getting any younger. I might as well give it a go. But at that moment when I decided to sign and report to NXT, I had no idea that this was where my journey or path would bring. So it's been a crazy four years. Well, it's it changed my life. It's been an awesome four years when you when you're looking back on on everything you've accomplished. I mean, you're a two time women's champion, but and you're going to be bringing that women's title to Evansville, uh, like I said, this Saturday. But before you do yeah. that, I want I want to play a little fun game. I like to play with people the rapid fire questions. Okay. Okay. Want to get to know the women's champion a little bit better. What's your favorite leisure activity? Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> favorite food? Uh, cheeseburgers. Movie you love to quote entirely too much. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Guilty Pleasure Music. Uh, Nickelback. <laughs> all right, and your favorite match of all time? My dad versus Shawn Michaels, retirement match. Good answer. Awesome. Well, then I guess the only question I have left for you is if you could build your Mount Rushmore of wrestling, who's on there? Well, that's easy. Uh, <laughs> well, I, mean, I might have too many people to put on there, though. You can make five uh, or six. Okay. Uh, the Four Horsewomen which is me, Becky Lynch, Bailey, Sasha Banks, but also Natalia. Without a doubt, four of the best women to ever step foot in the ring. Cannot blame you at all for that. Awesome. That sounds great. Well, Charlotte, we look forward to having you coming into town this Saturday. What can we expect from the women's champion here in Evansville? Well, it's going to be a 60 of a tag. Me, my protege, Dana Brooks, Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks, Bailey. And Alicia Fox with a special guest referee, who I'll just leave that a secret. 
Okay, okay, leave us hanging. Yeah. That's fine. We'll have to wait until Saturday to see who that uh, special guest referee is, but we look forward to having you guys in town, and thank you so much for your time today, Charlotte. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. All see right. you soon.